Hi guys, this is my 3 days old butterfly which you can barely see through your naked eye and one of the challenge is uh, feeding this fly with uh, nutritious live food that can easily fit into their tiny mouth. Now let's uh, zoom in our camera and see the actual feeding of this fry with the microorganisms that I just cultured at home with uh, almost zero budget. You may have noticed the tiny organisms swimming around the fry which they are happily catching one by one and this microorganism is called Infusoria which I just cultured at home and now I'm going to share with you how to culture your own so you don't have to worry about uh, raising your very tiny bed of fry. This technique is very accessible and is used by every professional fish breeder. So this is an infusoria under a microscope and uh, this is my own culture which I started six days ago from the lettuce that I just got from my kitchen. So now let's start our step-by-step -step techniques in culturing our own infusoria. So now let's start with this uh, two materials that I just found in my kitchen. The banana peel and the lettuce. So I just uh, poured the hot water to aid the decomposition of these materials. So I'm using this uh, to just for the sake of comparison as to the results later. But you may use any vegetables you want depending on what's available to you. So after the water has cooled down, you may now transfer the materials into any jar depending on what's available to you. So in my case, uh, this is an old plastic, plastic bottle that I got a long time ago. So basically, I spent uh, nothing in culturing my infusoria so the the banana and uh, the lettuce was just a waste material from my kitchen so now let's add water into our jars so now I'm using water from my fish tanks outside because they contain uh, microorganisms that will feed on the bacteria from the decomposing banana peel and uh, lettuce. And in a few days, we can see those uh, microorganisms multiply inside our jars. And we call them infosoria, best food for our tiny fry. So now we need to cover our jars with this... Uh, thin cloth or if you have uh, a fine nets so that the air could still pass through because our infosoria will still need oxygen it's very important that uh, no mosquito can lay their eggs on our culture now I am uh, placing these uh, jars in an area where there is a light but not uh, too much uh, direct sunlight so an indirect sunlight would be enough for our infosoria culture to flourish so this is after three days and you can see the water become cloudy that means uh, there's bacteria inside the jars and also don't forget to shake uh, your culture from time to time like uh, twice or thrice a day just to help our culture breathe oxygen from the air so this is day six and uh, the water from our lettuce jar has become clear while our banana peel jar is still cloudy so clear water is an indication that infosoria is already building in the jar so I just took a sample from that lettuce jar to check if there's indeed infosoria in that water so now let's uh, zoom in our camera to see the microorganisms inside and this is what we see this uh, infosoria swimming back and forth 
and this is barely visible through our naked eye so let's start feeding this infosoria to my uh, five days old fry here so we only need to pour a small amount like uh, five ml of water from our culture because uh, this is already loaded with uh, infosoria which is enough for our fry to feed now our fry is uh, enjoying catching their prey one by one and they could uh, do this all day long because this infosoria will stay alive in the water until our fry eats them for me this is the best food for the first five days after they are free swimming and afterwards I'm going to feed them with baby brine shrimp as they grow bigger. Two weeks have passed and uh, this is now our, our culture from the banana peel and the water is now clear. So this is an indication that infosoria is uh, building in that water. So I'm going to get a sample and uh, verify if there's indeed infosoria in that uh, clear brownish water. So let's check how this uh, differ from our lettuce culture. So now we zoom in our camera and we can see a dense amount of infosoria swimming back and forth in the water i also made another culture using banana peel uh, on this uh, plastic bottle my goal is to build a bacteria colony in this uh, decomposing banana peel which i'm going to feed to my uh, infosoria culture the lettuce jar which I've been feeding for over a week now to my uh, bed of fry. So if you want to have a constant supply of infosoria, so just feed them with uh, the cloudy water from uh, your own culture, like you may use uh, any vegetable or banana peel, then feed them in a small amount to your existing infosoria culture and of course don't forget to cover your jar to protect it from mosquito larva and here are my fry again uh, feasting on the infosoria that I just uh, gave them so thank you very much for uh, watching. If you like this video and if this video helps you, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And uh, thank you very much for watching, guys.